Hi, dear doers. In business, each company has to pay its bills, at least if they don't want problems with their partners. But sometimes we want to wait until the delivery is complete before paying them. Doing so ensures we don't incur the same cost multiple times, which is important for Southlywood's financial health. To define if a bill should be paid or not, we decided to use three-way matching. By using this method, Southlywood's database will compare information from the purchase order, the vendor bill, and the receipt to know if we should pay our supplier. By matching the numbers across the three documents, we will ensure that we don't pay incorrect vendor bills or for incomplete deliveries. And when an issue shows up, we can pinpoint exactly where it comes from. Very convenient. So let's jump in Southlywood's database to use this three-way matching feature. All right, so here we are on my database. Let's go directly to the purchase application. And then we're gonna go to configuration settings and we wanna be sure we have the three-way matching option activated, which I do. So if you need to activate this, go ahead and select this checkbox and be sure you click on save before moving forward. Now let's go ahead and see this in action, of course. So we're gonna go back to our dashboard and create an RFQ. So we'll first add the vendor. So I'm gonna add my vendor, Happy Furniture, and also add the product as well. So let's say desk lamp. Okay, we're gonna purchase eight of this item. And something we want to be sure that we do before we move forward is check out our product form, go to the purchase tab, and be sure our control policy is on received quantities, which it is here, so we're good to go. Then we're gonna save, save this, confirm the order, and we're not gonna receive the products right away. Okay, even though that's suggested, that's the next suggested action by Odoo, we're gonna skip that step and we're gonna create a bill. So let's see what happens. We're gonna click on create bill. All right, and then we have our product information here automatically. And we're gonna go to the other info tab and we're gonna see this field right here. It says should be paid, yes. But why should we pay for this bill if we haven't received anything yet? Well, if we go back to the bill tab, we're going to see that the quantity here is zero. All right. So for uh, the bill that you generate from the purchase order, the quantity will automatically reflect the amount that you've actually received. So in this case, we haven't received anything. All right. So the amount due is zero dollars. So it makes sense that we do not have to pay anything. But if we edit this, in this case, if we say six, Okay, and save. Go to the other info tab again. It's gonna say that we should not pay this bill. We haven't received these items, so we should not pay for them. All right, so let's go back to the bill, change the quantity again to zero, save. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our purchase order. All right, we see both the receipt and the vendor bill here. So let's go ahead and receive the products. Okay, I'm gonna validate, which will apply the reserved quantities, in this case, the initial demand, as the done quantity, apply. All right, we can go back to the purchase order and to that vendor bill, edit the quantity again. So we'll say eight, save. We're gonna check the other info tab and it says, yes, we should pay this bill. We've received uh, the eight items, it's good to go. All right, so then we can validate and register the payment whenever we're ready. But I'm going to go ahead, jump back to my purchase order and duplicate it. So let's go to action, duplicate. All right, but this time I'm going to purchase 10 desk lamps rather than eight. Let's go ahead, save, confirm the order, and we are going to receive um, some items here. So let's click on receive products and click on edit again. But let's say um, our vendor didn't have everything in stock. They didn't have our full order in stock, but just uh, five out of the 10 items. They went ahead, delivered five items. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, save, and validate the receipt of these five items. And then Odoo is going to suggest that I um, create a back order. Okay, so this means that I received five items and I'm gonna create another order for um, the second half of the 10, so the next five, um, to be received at a later time. Or I can say no back order, I'll just take the five and forget the rest. But in this case, we do want the back order, so let's go ahead and click on that button. All right, if we go back to our purchase order, we're now gonna see two receipts here. So we have one that's done, so for the first five items, and one that's ready for the second five that we haven't received yet. So let's go back to the purchase order and create a bill. So we're going to click on this button. 
okay? And the quantity, again, is going to be the products that we've already received. So in this case, we've received five items. All right, so the bill is going to be for the five items. We go to the other info tab. It says, yes, we can pay for this. But if we change the quantity here, and say 10, so the full amount, and save. If we go to the other info tab, we're going to see that um, there's an exception here. All right, so uh, yes, we should pay part of this bill, but not for the entire thing since we haven't received all of the products yet. But what we can do is force the status. So we can click on this checkbox and we can uh, force the status to say, yes, it can be paid, no, it shouldn't be paid, or it can remain as an exception. All right, but let's go ahead and leave it the way it was. And then we're gonna save and we're gonna go back to our purchase order and receive the last five items. Okay, so we're gonna validate this, apply. Okay, and then we're gonna create the bill. Okay, so let's go ahead and say we received the 10 items and save. When we go to the other info tab, it still says that there's an exception here. And that's because we've generated two draft bills. All right, so we have two bills related to the one purchase order. So we need to delete one of them. All right, but first let's save, of course, and go back to the purchase orders, vendor bills. Okay, I'm just gonna select one and delete. Since they are in the status draft, I can delete them. If one of them was validated, I wouldn't be able to delete it. We're gonna delete. I just have the one. If we go to the other info tab, yes, we can pay for this bill now, all right? So um, this is just adds an extra uh, layer of security just to be sure you aren't paying for bills that are incorrect or for products you haven't received yet, all right? So it's, this is definitely a really cool feature that Odoo has to offer and you should take advantage of. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.